Angry immigrant tried to torch Leeds City Council building when they refused him cash handouts. An angry immigrant terrorized Leeds City Council staff by attempting to torch their building when he claimed they wouldn't give him cash handouts. Entitled Abdul Rahman Mohammed Seni was told by a judge that he was dangerous and had no regrets or remorse about starting the fire at the Children's Services building in Killingbeck. Many of the 100 staff were so scared of him that many have still not returned to work at Colonel House on Killingbeck Drive, preferring to work from home. One even requested a transfer. Senny was jailed for 28 months at Leeds Crown Court. The judge, recorder David Kelly told him, your motive is that you blame Leeds City Council for your financial plight. You basically did not think they did enough for you. These actions are a consequence of your resentment and hostility towards them. You pose a danger to those members of staff and you have expressed absolutely no regret. You prefer to concentrate on the financial support you will get on your release. Basically, it's all about you and how people have let you down, saying you were justified in your actions. On August 8, he smashed windows, and returned a day later, entered the building and caused damage to a photocopier. Then on August 16, he returned and climbed a flight of stairs before starting a fire in the doorway to an office, using an aerosol and a lighter. Staff panicked as the smoke alarms were activated and the building was cleared. The fire failed to take hold. He was eventually arrested and held on remand. Seni, of no fixed address, admitted attempted arson, burglary and two counts of criminal damage. In mitigation, Philip Mahoney said during a previous hearing that Seni had fled the African country of Chad and was sold a line about what life in the UK would be like. But recorder Kelly, who previously adjourned the case to find out more about Seni's upbringing, said details were still no clearer. He said that Seni initially said he was from Sudan, but later claimed he was from Chad and grew up in Saudi Arabia. He said that immigration officials may look into his situation on his release.